Right, tankers, this man, and welcome back. Right, well, I've got another new tank. Uh, I've had it for a while now, and I've been quietly enjoying it to myself. This is by far my favourite tier 10 medium tank now. Uh, the Russian ones are good, and they are really good for brawling, uh, but they're no way near as good on a ridge line as this thing. This is the king of the ridge lines, in my opinion, at tier 10, and I think I prefer it more than the FV4202. I really don't want to say that. I'm, um, I wouldn't say I'm patriotic. Um, 14 years in the services, uh, you tend to change your views on certain things quite a lot. Anyway, yeah, 4202, lovely tank. Great tank to play. But the STB1 just does certain things better. The turret bounces better, has the gun depression. Has the reload, a lot better reload than a 4202, and that's what you need for a tier 10 medium. It's all about getting this damage out as quickly as possible. Look at this IS 3. Oh, what a mistake at a maker. Nice oh, can we get the last one? I see one of them. No, bounce off his turret. That's a shame. Almost had a kill at the start of the game there. The right, get spotted. And I pull back, simple as that. That's how to operate on a ridge. As long as you got a good spotter on this map, you can do some serious damage from the middle. You can see all the way over. Oh, it's bloody artillery. Batch I. Luckily, it's the tier 9 one, not the tier 10. Anyway, yeah, from the middle of this map, you can see pretty much all the way over to the campers in the back right hand corner, down at like J and H1 area. You only have to move over a little bit to get spots, well not spots, to get shots up on this hill. Look at that. I think that's an IS-8. And from this range, this gun, it's not nowhere near as accurate as the 4202. But it's just that little bit more accurate than the Type 61. That's what this tank does. It's kind of a Type 61 where they just fixed all the problems. It's a bit like the M103 versus the T110E5. Um, it's basically just a tier 9 tank with all the things you didn't like made slightly better. Right, T110E4 at range, remember this. I know we've got side shots. Um, there's going to be a situation that happens in the very last minute of this game. It's going to be quite a long one, I'm afraid, guys. Uh, but the very last minute of this game, you will uh, you'll find it quite amusing. Yeah, T1 10E4, wide side shots, pen 2 out of 2. Yeah, just remember that. They've got two of them on their team. Look at its nice ridgeline work. When you've got a spotter, look at that. This gun is lovely. With the vert stabs on it, Giri. And snapshot, you can just pull off shots so quickly in this tank. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I've been asked by some newer players to give a brief description of my tank setup and crew skills. So if you haven't done it at the start, I've put it at the end of the video. So for you guys that don't need to see it, you can turn off once the match is over. But for you newer players that are interested in equipment, crew skills, um, consumables and stuff, well that was bad. Look at that, half my hit points gone. What the hell did that? Yeah, so uh, for you guys that are newer to the game and you're interested in how to set up certain different types of tank, yeah, watch for after the match. I did a little bit of a, um, little bit of a introduction on the STV-1 in the garage. Yeah. Let me know if it helps. If it doesn't, I won't put them in. Uh, but I have been asked a few times to include like a... Uh, just a bit of a description about how I set the tank up. Anyway, back onto the game. We've lost the hill. It's looking like we were going to win the hill. We had quite a few tanks up there, and it looks like this T57 Heavy has just waltzed up there and gone, no, it's my hill. Releasing target. Well, T95. Ooh, that one hit the dirt. Ready to fire. Yeah, a lot of their team are camping. It's gonna make this very hard work. Yes, yeah, so what else does the STB1 do better than the Type 61? Well, the round count. 
the amount of rounds I've already fired in this game, I would be getting near the point of getting very worried about my ammunition already. Whereas with the, top, the, uh, well, the STB one, you get a very nice round count. Definitely enough ammo to carry a, a tier 10 game. Yeah, the turret armor's good, the gun's good, uh, the view range is good, the camo value's good. What more do you want? Or on the front plate it's good as well, it's not particularly thick, but you can see there it's led back, quite a good angle. Focus on this area. And it's fairly mobile as well. Just a great all-round tank. It can't bounce shots like um, the Russian mediums. Uh, well it can, just not as well. But you do have the DPM, like uh, for full health, 140 comes for you and you're full health. Uh, he does have more of a chance of bouncing you, but you have the DPM to uh, be able to kill him as quickly as he can kill you. So it's, it's, it's a nice tank. Right, so what we've done so far, 11 pens, no kills, so that's about 4,000 damage done so far. 390 average with the 105. It's the same 105 that most of the tier 10s have, it's the, the version of the British one. Hmm, it was accurate up until then, but we get the tracking shot and we're going to get the assist points. Can I get the kill? Yes, there we go, kill number one. Right, so I'm still holding the middle of the map. Middle of the map, that sounded really weird, didn't it? It's very early, fellas. Had a bit of a strange night last night. Still on a lot of medication after my operation. I had some really, really weird dreams. I think um, I watched that Exodus Gods and Kings before I went to sleep last night. I don't think that really helped my mental state. While I was trying to sleep on medication, yeah. Uh, some very funny dreams. I feel a bit strange this morning. Yeah, I think I was dreaming about being Moses. Our team are I'm quite happy with how our team's playing, and they've all pushed up. We do have one tank sat back in the corner, but you know, he's not going to be effective at all, because pretty much the whole of the enemy's team now are in their half of the map, so we won't be able to see anything. Just trying to sneak the shots in, but the time's ticking over. Enemy's light tank still rolling there. He's been a bit of a bugger. He keeps getting people spotted and then pulling back. So he's, he's playing a really good game. Right, here we go. Got him in the corner lit up. There's another E4. Here we go. Pen the E4 from range from the front. Remember that. I switch to my heat rounds, that's an IS-7 for maximum range. Yes, that's an IS-7 in um, K1. Well done you. Bet your team are happy about that. Right, we need to punish that guy, but unfortunately he's gone hold down now. So that's the uh, last opportunity to get any damage out of him. So nearly down to five minutes, the 100's pushing in, but he's going to get hammered in a second. There's that 39, you finally get a shot into him. Need to stop him lighting us up on the mid ridge, otherwise we're not going to be able to get any sniping shots in the guys in the corner. Just see the gun handling of this tank, fellas, and why I like it so much. When you lock onto a target and the turret swings around, you're almost ready to fire the shot instantly. I've loved this gun handling. It's great. Oh, 
I'm not being very aggressive here, and the reason for that is the sort of tanks they've got left. They've got T1N10E4s, T95s, Jaegerus, and I have enough health left to be scared about even the E4 um, one-shotting me here. So I'm just trying to provide some cover, and that is it at the minute. There's that ice server, and he's proper hold down now. The only person who's going to dig him out of there is the artillery at the minute. We have one other medium left on our team, it seems bat chat. He had two barrel marks on this tank. He did get a lot of spotted damage out of this game. Oh, what you're going to see him do in a minute really, really pissed me off. Uh, looks like I said at the start first, the last minute of this game, you won't believe what happens. So how can I break the stalemate? Well, I don't think I can personally. Don't have the help for it. A 57 heavy, be nice to get him. Again. Yes, blind kill. Happy days. 57 heavy down. Come on, team. Only three minutes left. There we go. That's what I was on about with the uh, the gun handling on this tank. I don't think this, the soft stats are actually that good, but with vert stabs, snapshot, and on a giri, literally swing your turret around. Maybe half a second to a second of aiming, and then you're ready to go. Wow, T95 up on the hill. How did he get up there? He was on the railroad tracks last time I saw him. Someone's tracked him in place. Come on, accuracy. Right, I'm starting to run lower runs now. Some of these have got a hit. Hey, there we go. And I get the tracking points. That crit I got earlier must have um, been a red crit. Right now, the Jaeger. It's two minutes left on the game. No good. Didn't go through. Oh, he's down to a one shot. Right, so watch this. Our bat chat is round the other side. My plan here was to rush on in, get the Jagdpanzer's attention, and bat chat will jump over and kill him from behind. There's only three reds left. A minute and a half left on the game. Come on, bat chat. You're gonna jump over, yeah? Oh. Right, so the Jaeger gets me, but the bat chat is in position just to jump over and kill him. Or maybe not. Right, so there's a minute left on the game, there's three enemy tanks left. Surely these guys are going to uh, do something. Right, so he now jumps over. Bounces two shots. Who took him out? The one home waffle took him out. So he's dead. Two tanks left. Probably that IS-7 and it's a T110E4. Right, here comes our mouse who's been at the back of the map the whole game. The light tank is AFK. The artillery's been doing a good job. I7 goes down, so it's just the T110E4. Here goes our waffle. He's using the 15 centimeter gun. And he didn't pen one shot. Can the E100 do it? The mouse turns up. Still on full health. Can he do it? Bat chat's firing, no damage. Mouse fires, no damage. Bat chat's still firing and no damage. Come on, Artie, can you do it? Bat chat bounces a whole clip. We'll call it a draw no. This time. 
Oh my god. You joking me. One E4 on the enemy's team. Manages to hold up our whole team. Anyway, there we go, fellas. Picked up a high caliber and a confederate. 6,653 damage and 2,500 assist points. Let's go into our team and see how we got on. Right, so that patch out, he did a good job of spotting, but he didn't do very much damage. And in a minute, we're going to look. All oh, right, the mouse, zero damage. He counted the railway track on our side most of the game. Came in, he's fired seven shots this game, and he's done zero damage. But that's not the worst stat on this uh, page at all. Our team's waffle. He fired 29, hit nine, and penetrated four. For, uh, for what's that? 900 damage? Yeah. Um, any of that line, fellas? The 15 centimeter guns are crap. There it is, look. Use 128 millimeter guns. They're just better in every way. Some people will tell you the 15 centimeters are better, but my recommendation to you is to use the 128s because the 150, you'll, you'll just bounce everything. It's a joke. Anyway, right, there we go, fellas. Hope you enjoyed that replay. Got a new tank, STB1. Right, off into the garage now for um, the newer players to show you my setup. And if you're going to go now, thank you very much, and I'll catch you on the next one. Right, into the garage. Right, so here we go, tankers, for any of you newer guys. For, um, I'm not quite sure on setting up your tanks yet. Uh, maybe you've not reached tier 10 yet or anything like that. I'm just going to give you a quick explanation on my setup. Right, straight into equipment then. I run the uh, bog standard equipment for any tier 10 medium pretty much without an auto loader. Coated optics to fulfill your spotting roles a medium. Vert stamps to help you pull off snapshots um, as quickly as you can, and a rammer just to bring up your DPM. And that is kind. This is kind of the bog standard setup for any high tier medium tank that's not an auto loader. Yeah. So uh, kind of a tip for you there. Right. Crew skills. Not very skilled crew on this tank. Um, six cents you want first as a must. Then I'd probably train camo, swap it to brother in arms, then train camo and keep it. Snapshot to help you pull off those shots with vert stabs even quicker. Repairs, any repairs on any tank that I, I like to have, getting your tracks on as quick as you can and stuff like that. Right, and as you can see, I'm training firefighting. It's almost there. I'm training firefighting because it's a skill and, it's, and it works as it's training. Once it's trained, I will swap it to preventative maintenance because that's a perk and only works at 100% and then I will retrain firefighting. So why am I taking these skills now when there's probably other skills I could be taking that would be more beneficial to make the tank work better? Well, uh, any of you with eagle eyes here will see I run Onigiri as one of my supplies instead of a fire extinguisher. This tank has amazing DPM. Um, it kind of lives and dies by its DPM, although it does have a very, very bouncy turret it likes to work on ridge lines. If you do um, just want to cause as much damage as you can quickly, Bring up your viewer range to maximum as well. Onigiri brings all your major crew skills up 10%. But by ditching the fire extinguisher, if I get set on fire, I'm going to burn out. Which is why I'm training up a firefighting crew. With firefighting first, I'll swap that to... Um, what's it called? Preventative maintenance. And then I will tr retrain firefighting again. So then I will have... Both the crew skill that stops, well, it doesn't stop you getting set on fire, but reduces the chance of you getting set on fire. And then I'll have firefighting um, to reduce the amount of damage tickets I take when I do get set on fire. Because I'm running it on a Giri. And that is it, fellas. That is my STB1 setup. Um, if any of you more experienced players do end up watching the end of this video, um, if you run in your tank any different, Say so in the comments and why, and try and help out any newer players between between all of us rather than just me. Well, there we go, chaps. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you tomorrow. See you later.